Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is John with Education Solutions and in today's clip, I would like to show you how you can use Microsoft Teams to get a join link to have your students join your MS Teams class. So let's come over here to Microsoft Teams and let's have a look here. I've got my test class that's all set up. And the very first thing that I would do is once I get my test class here, is you'll see that we've got a, uh, just up to the side here, near the top right, uh, we've got these three dots that is the more options here. So click on the more options and among these options here, we've got get link to team. So click on this one here and this will generate a link to your team. You'll copy that link. And as soon as you have that copied, then you'll switch over to your Gmail account. And I've got this one set up with the subject of MS Teams join link. And I'm going to paste that in here. So I've got this join link here. And the next thing I need to do is I need to find some recipients to give this to. Who am I going to send this to? Well, I'm going to blind carbon copy this. I'll send the main one to myself, but I'll BCC the rest of my class. So if I've got my list of my fake students here, uh, then I've got all of my students that I need to get their emails. I've got their list here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and copy that and come back to our Gmail account. And you're going to paste in your students there. Okay, so once you have your students all set up, uh, you'll send out a Gmail, an email to all of your students with the join link. So once they receive that join link, then over on Microsoft Teams, what you'll see on those more options, you'll come over, come back to these more options here, and you're going to manage your team. So when you go to manage your team, you'll see that, uh, well, right now I have no, no guests coming in here, no members and no guests. Um, you'll see in here the, the pending requests. So uh, when you do get some students that start to come in, you'll see that they're, they're trying to join your class. They've clicked on that join link. They've asked to join, and you'll accept them into your class. Now, inevitably, you'll have some students that might have some trouble with that, uh, but when they get that join link, at least for my university, my students will use their university Gmail address and the exact same password that they use to enter Gmail. So once they, uh, once they come in there, uh, they'll, they'll ask to join your class. But if you have trouble with your students joining your class here, if you come over here to members, and I need to drag this out so that you can see it a little better. Um, so once you have your members coming in here, we've got, uh, well, off to the side here. There it is. Okay, we've got this part that says add members or add a member. So if you click on add member, you can actually type in your student's Gmail account and that will bring up uh, their, their, their name, they should already be registered with your class, with your university or with your school. And then you'll go ahead and just add that particular student in there. You can also add teachers if you want to have someone collaborating with you to, uh, to get them into your class. So uh, that's probably the easiest way that you can get people to join or sorry, students to join your class is by sending out the getting the, the join link from the more options sending everybody a Gmail and uh, blind carbon copying everyone in your email list and getting them to come into your MS Teams classroom. And then if you can't get that part, you can always add them in one by one if, they, if you have any students who have trouble getting into your class. So I really hope that this was useful and helpful for you. Uh, if you do have any questions about how to use Microsoft Teams, please do send me some questions in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Education Solutions channel and also like the video. Thank you all very much and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.